Okay, so here we are at the future carport location. Plan is to move to have a carport roof starting from up there, a little bit higher than the cement bit because obviously Jade is quite high. Hey Bailey. Hi. Hi, <laughs> my little kitten. You're so cute. Okay, so it's gonna slant from up here. It's gonna be a bit higher and then slant down that way. And these pieces here, I've got five of them each, one meter wide, and it's uh, three meters long. So it'll be just about enough to get over Jade. It's not going to be much overhang, but that's okay. You know, um, the worst is going to stay off her and she'll just be protected a little bit more than right now. So it'll be worth doing for sure. Oh, Bailey, she's in a very cute little mood, a cute cuddly mood. Hello. <laughs> oh, two cuties. <laughs> Using that metal as a scratching bit. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should remove this bit. This is a piece of vine. Or oh, piece of grapevine. But she seems to like this. I don't know. And there's another one on the other side. It looks dangerous, but cats are smart. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Huh? Yeah, I'm tempted to take this bit down, but she just loves running across it and makes her feel safe. You know, just be higher up and have that little cat runway up there. So I'm going to leave that until I have a better plan or something I can replace it with. Nearly sunset time. It's not cold, but I kind of feel like making a fire. I think Fire is just something I want to do these days because it feels really good. Um, I can't really explain it. It's just a good feeling to have a fire. That's all I got. It's definitely not something that's required today. It's not. It's not cold. Hmm. But it will get cold once the sun is down. So that's my excuse. <laughs> Good morning. So I've just woken up. It's uh, around about half past seven. So I've been awake for half an hour and I'm looking down because I don't want to step on the cat. Always under my feet. Um, and I just stopped my morning routine because I wanted to show you this. Look, look at this fog. Isn't that beautiful? It's so nice. You can hear the roosters chainsaw, cutting wood, getting ready for winter. Oh, it's so nice. It feels, it feels really, really good. I love this foggy situation. It's been like this nearly every morning for the last two or three weeks now. Look at this.
the sun is gonna rise somewhere over there somewhere it kind of shifts during the year um in summer it'll rise i know exactly where it'll rise in front of my bedroom window my eyes are tearing it so early <laughs> in front of my bedroom window um by the walnut tree but now that it's winter it's actually shifted and i think it rises over here now and not over there so it's a much lower arc and it sets over there it sets over there whereas in summer it would set behind my garage which would be over there <laughs> so that's really crazy for me i've anyway so the sun rising and setting sort of shifts it's super interesting okay so a really quick little update straw land looks like this i've done a really good job what i'd love to do is just fill in the gaps between the fruit trees with some straw and cardboard and then call it for this year um, and i think i'll manage that so you know fingers crossed <laughs> and then i also wanted to show you uh, my wall look at that filled in the cement on the wall if you remember there were some holes there where you could see the mud brick and now look no more mud brick looks good right so oh if you want to see how i did that it's on my patreon i did a step-by-step -step video how to fix um a mud brick wall the local way i did it a bulgarian bulgarian way because i learned how to do it from the bulgarian builders here so yeah i did the same and look it worked <laughs> so yeah if you want to see the process head over to patreon i'll put the link in the description all right, and this is my new project. Ta-da! I know, it looks like a slide, right? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be something like that, a slide for the rain. I'm going to use those metal sheets and I'm gonna put it over Jade. Um, it's gonna be higher on this side. I'm gonna use this um, cement overlap and I'm gonna build it a little higher so that it can reach over Jade because she's pretty tall and then it'll slope down towards this side over here and that's the plan I'm gonna do a little carport but um, I don't know when I mean it's gonna take a few days right just figuring it out obviously I've never done this before so again I'm gonna video it step by step and I'll put it on my patreon so if you want to see it go and head over there and in the meantime I'm gonna look at this beautiful morning just look at this mist Wow, foggiest morning ever. I say that every morning this morning, <laughs> these mornings because they all look pretty similar and I love it. It's just incredible. I'm not used to foggy mornings at all. I think that's a tractor. I can't really see it. <laughs> He's there somewhere. Yeah, it's a tractor. I could just make him out in the fog. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> I didn't grow up with fog, so, you know, this is all very new and exciting. <laughs> like everything, really. Um, yeah, everything is just new for me. Like, and I've never done that before. That was new for me. That was really fun to ex experience. And I've also done another thing I want to show you. Look at this. I have made a little pebble water block. So look, it's about five centimeters tall. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe that's better. There you go. Five centimeters tall. Would probably be easier if I turn the phone around, but I think you got the gist of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just a little water block because uh, when the water runs down from here, down, 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 there and there, it might head into the basement. But now I've put the little pebbles around this little door, so I feel like that'll block most of the water. Huh. I think. <laughs> anyway, it's better than nothing, isn't it? So I'm quite happy with it. And I, it looks kind of cute. Like I think I will maybe continue putting the pebbles all the way around the door, because right now it's just at the beginning. So when the water hits, it'll just divert it. Um, but of course I didn't do the whole door frame, so 
I mean, it's unlikely that the water hits it, goes around it, and then flows back that way, right? So it's kind of unlikely. <clears throat> but I think maybe for aesthetic purposes, I might want to... This is smudgy. Oh, she's going to jump. Oh, she's on the wrong side to jump. Anyway. Uh, for, yeah, just for aesthetic purposes, I might want to continue and make like a whole um, half circle around that door frame. I'll think about it. I'll think about it, maybe. But for now, I think it's best just to focus on one project at a time. <laughs> and I definitely want to focus on this project. So, exciting times ahead. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I don't think it's rained overnight. And the weather forecast says no rain for the next two or three days. Maybe even four days. So... It's a good time to do some outdoor DIY project, I think. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna head back and do finish my meditation, do some the rest of my morning routine, and after that, I'm gonna get painting on the verticals for the carport. Well, it's gonna be so great. Um, I've already talked about the project with some friends and they are so kind. They're helping me out with like tools and advice and everything. I don't think I could do it without them, to be honest. Initially, I thought, oh, I'll just wing it. Um, and that would have probably been a complete disaster <laughs> because there's some awful winds, um, not just in winter, but like any time. And they could just lift these things up and they'll go. Phew. So, um, yeah, definitely getting some friends advice and the right tools that's really a big deal so yes thank you friends <laughs> i'm so grateful so big thank yous um i also want to just give a quick mention to um the services i am providing on patreon i am doing accountability group so um basically i'm first going to do it one-on-one -on -one and then uh, just see how it evolves. But I think it could become a group situation because I just feel like a community supports each other really, really well. Um, but it's gonna start out as a one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're looking for accountability partner, that's a service I am offering on Patreon. Again, I'm putting the link below so you can check it out and see if that's something you're interested in. And um, it would be a custom design. So we would chat about what you're looking to achieve, what sort of habits and goals you have in mind, and then we'll work it out. Um, so yeah, have a look at that. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go back to my morning routine. Bye.